welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be vlogging for you guys of course and do you guys notice anything new I got a brand new car by this time we already uploaded I'm gonna start talking, but by this time we already uploaded a vlog on our couples channel showing you guys the new car and everything and yeah you guys I'm so freaking happy I finally got my little mom car and I have been wanting this car for a while I have been wanting this car for such a while, you guys, but I just didn't do it because I was that type of person that was like, I'm going to drive my car until the freaking wheels fall off, like my car still runs, like I don't want to spend money on a new car, but I finally bit the bullet and I got a brand new car and I'm so freaking happy. I feel like Sophie's way more comfortable in this car and like my old car, don't get me wrong, there wasn't technically anything wrong with it and it still ran pretty good and that car will probably last like the new owner whoever ends up buying it because i did end up trading it into the dealership the new owner will probably get a lot of time with that car with no issues because i had the car for like three years had never no type of issues with it no nothing um so yeah i really just wanted a new car i feel like um i had just kind of outgrown that car for a long time for a while i kind of felt like i was over the car i kind of didn't really like the car whatsoever anymore i was still super blessed to be able to have something to drive because some people don't even have a car whatsoever but i feel like i wanted a new car for a while and it's good to want like better things for yourself and obviously now that i have a daughter like now she gets to be in like a way nicer car everything's like i'm obsessed with this car you guys i'm so freaking happy that i finally got a new car even though if you guys did not know i got in a car accident not that long ago so i'm still a little bit traumatized from my accident so i'm kind of getting over my anxiety of driving um it's mainly when i get on and off the freeways and like i don't know i feel like i have definitely been really traumatized after the accident like i've had a couple like really bad panic attacks as i literally just start crying because i'm so fucking terrified for my life i'm gonna get over it and i'm just gonna keep praying on it and hopefully like it just is crazy how it happened like right when i get a new car because um barely now i'm starting to kind of drive the car a little bit more like even when we first got the car like i didn't even drive it because i was like a little bit scared but yeah, anyways, you guys, today it is a Friday. I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog for you guys. Um, this morning, I was really in the mood to vlog, and then my morning kind of went really bad, and then it went really good. So um, I ended up not vlogging, but I'm happy I'm vlogging now. I'm going to park right in front of the store. I always like to park right in front of the store because obviously I come with Sophie, and it's easier like that. Oh, and the lighting is actually really, really good here. So right now we are at a store called Aldi. I've been wanting to come to the store for a little while now. Um, but I just, oh, I, actually, I'm lying. I've been coming to the store all week. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I just came to get some shrimp. I'm going to get some shrimp, some bread, because last night I low-key ate a sandwich, and it was so good, and low-key the, the bread was moldy. And I didn't notice until, the, like, after I had already ate my sandwich. But anyways, um, I have, I've been wanting to make the spicy noodle spring rolls for a while now. My friend is going to come over, and we're going to make them together. And she's also, like, really into, like, Asian and Korean foods and stuff and I saw the uh, spicy noodle egg rolls or spring rolls trending on TikTok and I have been dying to make them ever since and of course we have baby Pika in the back Daniel stayed and he's mopping the house so so I decided to bring her with me so that he could mop in peace because usually whenever Sophie's awake we're not mopping because every time it's happened twice where we have mopped and she always ends up slipping like there's always one little area that's not fully dry and we think the house is dry already and she ends up slipping and it's been like the saddest thing ever so now if she's awake, we're not gonna mop, okay? So, yeah. Anyways, let's get off at Aldi and let's see what we find. We have baby Pika here, of course. She wants the camera. You ready? Let's go. We have guests over and Daniel said he wanted to save money on the air, so he turned it off. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. He turned it off because he was changing the filters. Babe, what? I told him you were being a todo and you turned off the AC because we have guests over. We were pretty sweaty. I was changing the AC vents. I even have a witness at Evans. Hi oh, baby, daddy's being a codo? His codo hurts? She's like, what the heck? She's like, get the camera out of my face. Did you know her memory? All is perfect. All is perfect. Did you read the Nice, nice. Baby, because first time Here. trying coconut water. Oh, that's what oh, I'm coconut oh, water. She's not gonna try it. Coconut water is nasty. Guys, we're making the spicy noodles, and everybody wants cheese noodles. 
<laughs> they won't let me add the last package. We're gonna do a taste test. If they're not spicy enough, we'll add more. We got the spicy noodles, the shrimp. If you want, um, we can just split them. And you can put more on yours. No, try it, try them. Yeah. Do a taste test, see if they're spicy. I feel like they're not spicy at all. Stop, really? We're putting the spring rolls together. I'm so the excited. Side doesn't matter. Huh? The side doesn't matter. I don't think so. She just kind of put like a little bit right there and then she put the cucumbers like on the side of it and then she put the, the, the shrimp like kind of at the edge. Let's okay. see. We've never, have you ever, ever made spring rolls before? No, I haven't. We've never made spring rolls before. It's our first time. So we'll see how it goes. Wrong. We have the water here, the spring roll wrappers, I believe that's what you call them. Cucumber, noodles, and shrimp. Did you get it? Ooh. I think I made it like a burrito. Ah. Spring rolls, Mexican edition. Dude, I think I did. Chicken. Dude, they look so good. What do you think, Gary? I'm so excited. Bro, my mouth is like watery right now. Mm-hmm. Like so many textures going on at the same time. It's spicy, okay? No, it's not that spicy. Mm -hmm. I feel like the cucumber helps. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -hmm. I love it. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Bro, get the fuck out of your bed and make some spicy. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good, huh? <laughs> I love stuff like this, you guys. Do you know me? Liz, I she's love noodles Asian. and In everything. Case you don't know, now you know. I think I'm like part Asian or Korean or something because I love like Asian and Korean foods. If you guys have not had these spring rolls, you freaking need to get out of your bed and make them right now because they're so freaking good. You're gonna get your. Gonna get your noodles. Gonna add your cucumber. How, how much did you put? Three. I think three. And then you're gonna take the tap. My mouth is watering. Take the other side, and you roll it. Roll it like it's that paper joint. Just kidding. What? <laughs> I don't know what's on. And this, boom. It's literally the best thing ever. I'm fucking upset. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat noodles like the, like any other way because they're so good. Um, so so it is the next day, you guys. We are headed out to the gym. Actually, really freaking late. It is 2.13. Bro, it's super late. We didn't go to sleep till like five in the morning. We didn't go to sleep till like five in the morning, you guys. We had a couple friends over and my mom and my dad were over here too. And we were, we actually didn't really drink. We had like a couple drinks, all of us, but nothing crazy like how it usually gets. Um, we were mainly just playing games. We've been obsessed with playing games like um, there's this one called um, Exploding Kittens and Taboo They be getting a little toxic, but um, taboo, they're really really taboo. fun to play. Yeah, it's just how that gets a little toxic um, But right now we are headed out to the gym. Sadly, my babysitter canceled on me today. You guys my mom has been slacking on me <laughs> So we're gonna take her to my suegra's house um, and this is, I think, only like the second time that they have babysat her. The first time they ever babysat her, it was when we went to the twins party. And she actually stayed with them for like a day, like over 24 hours, right? Yeah. But we, we ended up just going to Cali for the twins party and then flew back home right away. Because it was her first time staying with them. They're her grandparents as well, though. You know, I know they love her, but it takes a lot to take care of a baby. And my mom and his mom haven't really had little babies like that in a long time. So... I don't like I'm I I know I'm overprotective and also like if they ask me like hey can we take her like I probably would say yeah um, especially now that she's a little bit older but um but definitely I feel like I do I do trust Daniel's mom though I just feel like they haven't had a baby for a long time you know so um, she knows how to change her diapers and everything but I packed her all of her little snacks because I have a lot of people who will tell me like oh. I'll babysit her. Carefully, please. You're just stressing me out right now. Um, I have a lot of people who will be like, oh, don't worry, I'll babysit her. But will you actually, though? 
<laughs> like everybody thinks that the baby's just gonna go hang out with you. No, if she's not, you actually gotta take care of her. Like, and you gotta make her food, and you gotta change her diapers, and you gotta entertain her, and she throws tantrums. So yeah, it's definitely a lot, I feel like, to take care of a baby. So I have all of her little things packed here. We have her diapers, her wipes, and then I just packed a couple snacks for her because we'll only be gone for a little bit. So I packed some grapes, of course, quarters, and then I packed some little Cheez-Its or some little cheese crackers from Trader Joe's, and then she has some coconut water in her little cup, which I'm gonna give to her right now because it's actually really hot. Um, but my new car actually is not really hot. My old car used to take so long to like cool off, you guys. Like it was a lot. But I'm so freaking happy with the new car, and yeah. Um, we are going to like a further gym today. Daniel's parents live like maybe half an hour from us. That's also why they don't really babysit her a lot, is because they live kind of further from us. That's why my mom's always babysitting her, because my mom's five minutes away. So I do get that question a lot, like, oh, do Daniel's parents see her? Of course they see her, you guys, but obviously my parents are like closer to us, so we do see them a little bit more often. And it's also not a for sure thing that we will go to the gym. Probably we will though, because if she cries for like a few minutes, it's fine. But like if she's crying for like, if she's crazy crying like 10 minutes, like a little bit more than five minutes, I'll probably like want to turn around and I'll just chill with Daniel's parents at their house until Daniel's still at the gym. Because that's what, that's what being a baddie mom is. You just sacrifice a lot for your kids. Like when you're a mom, you just have to sacrifice a lot more than dads. I want to be a dad now. First time parent things, leaving the baby crying because we just left her with my suegra and she was literally crying, you guys, it was the saddest thing ever. I kind of was just like, I feel like she thinks we abandoned her. <laughs> it was sad, huh? She like grabbed onto the old shirt. She just wore my shirt, I feel bad. But then at the end, like when we were leaving, and it was sad because at the end when we were driving out, she was like this. <laughs> it was so sad. <laughs> But also at the end, like, I think his mom was trying to distract her. And, like, it's, like, I love Jada's mom. Like, she's really sweet and I know she'll take good care of her. Did you, did it was you, just the uh, fact that we left her crying that I'm, like, sad about. Did you pour her bottle in there? I didn't, but she uh, has her, she has her coconut milk. Her coconut milk? Yeah, her coconut water, sorry. Yeah, she doesn't need milk right now, but I packed her some snacks and stuff, so she'll be okay. She's telling mom, tell mom. Careful, careful, this motherfucker is getting really close to us. Oh my god. Did he get close to us or am I tripping? Babe, you need to honk when they get close, okay? Please, like, I'm, like, he's so big, like, he might not see us, like, I'm low-key still trying to after my accident, guys, but also, like, they don't, like, they take you too many risks, so it, like, freaks me out more, but I did tell, I did tell my swagger, like, if she cries too much, like, if she does not stop crying, like, in, like, five minutes, call me, and I will turn around, like, Daniel can go to the gym, it's fine, but... I think that's how it always is. I think until she's like even five, when she goes to school, she's probably gonna stay crying every day. I remember when I was in school, when I first started going to school, I think I was even like in like first grade, but also I was getting bullied a lot. So I remember I would cry like so bad when my mom would drop me off that one of the teachers would have to come and pull me out of the car because I was grabbing, I remember we had a van and I would grab onto the van and I would be like crying. But most, I read like on a daycare thing too, like on TikTok that I saw that most kids will cry and then once the door closes and the parents are gone, like actually gone, gone, like they stop crying and they're fine. So, um, yeah, it was just really sad because it was the first time we've ever had to leave her anywhere and like leave her crying. Like every time I've left her, like with my mom, like she's never stayed crying. Like she doesn't even want to come back with me when, I pick her up and I think this was definitely worse to just leave her crying, huh? We just got out of the gym and now we are almost here to pick up baby Pika again. Um, we got a little protein shake at Daniel's favorite spot. Um, he likes to go to One Stop Nutrition to get protein shakes after. The other day when we got one, I got orange drinks ago. Dude, I couldn't even drink it because it tasted salty for some reason. Like it just wasn't good. But I got chocolate peanut butter this time and it's actually so good. And let me tell you guys, me and Daniel are freaking completely oh, man, opposites, dude. Like, everything that he likes, I usually never like, and everything that I like, like... I don't hate it, but I don't like the chocolate yeah. butter, but it's just like... It's just like... Uh, it, like if it's last week, so I'll drink it, but like, like to, to drink it for like for good mm -hmm. taste, I, I don't think I could get But to it. me, it's just funny because it's, it happens a lot where like, Daniel's like, oh, I don't really like this, and I'll try it, and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. Like, right now, I'm just like, oh, I love the peanut butter in my protein shake. Daniel's like, I don't really like it. <laughs> Mine go to is strawberry, man. Like, can't go wrong with strawberry. Like, I kind of like, like, citrus, uh, citrus, like, flavors, Flavorous. you know? 
like chocolate. I'm not really like I like chocolate, but I don't know. I guess it depends on what you like. I tried sit like a citrus flavor last time. Girl, it was stuck. Yeah, but you got weed. You got like what would you get? I got orange dreamsicle. Like an orange See, I don't even know what that is. It's like a popsicle, like an ice cream popsicle. See, like, no, you gotta go like just with basic. You gotta go just. It is basic, and orange cream to go is basic. Anyways, guys, yeah, we're gonna go and pick up Sophie, and then we're gonna go home. I'm gonna film a video with one of my friends, and then I don't know if we're gonna go eat or what we're gonna be doing, but it's Sunday fun day. Oh, she's sleeping. What's her name? Yeah. Say bye to Nana. Say bye. Say bye, Nana. She's smiling at her. Did I love you? <laughs> Guys, she woke up hella confused. <laughs> Bartender Francisco. Hey. In the cut. In the cut. Yes, sir. Maybe next time that you put the lemon, you should put something to drain the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is taking a little too long. Babe, they're getting worse to suck. Well, that one was watered down. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs>